Movie night, back with another clit ass. I'm your host, Easy. Welcome to Call Language. Say hello to my new daily driver. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. I was, I got it for a decent price, decent price. I think I would have got it cheaper, but it was well maintained. Uh, I'm gonna show you all the exterior, interior, kind of like a Doug Muro type of review, uh, but upon the grass i'm gonna get to that after the car i've been really excited with this car i've always wanted one always wanted a lincoln town car and this body too uh this style when they did the facelift where the lights weren't um kind of round and then it had that swoop this one they kind of you know squared it a little bit in the front this is what the one two the third generation yeah third gen um but this is the third generation with the facelift then they stopped making town cars and i believe they didn't name the one that came after this which was the mks a town car they they badged it mks but really i think that was like a continuation of the town car because it was a lot similar to this only that one had a v6 but the fuel mpg it was similar i know because i had that car much nicer than mks but i don't know it was something again i grew up grew up around cab drivers my father was a cab driver i was a cab driver and i remember when this thing came out like one of the drivers he pulled up white he had did the lights inside put the led lights inside then he put the hids this was back in 2005 when hids was popping this is a 2005 lincoln signature series by the way i should mention that Thing. Let's get into it. A lot of car, a lot of car. It's smooth, smooth as butter. I don't know. Um, I want to say this car right here is smoother than the Caddy. I got to say. I don't know. Lincoln got it. Ain't no car more comfortable than a town car. Hands down. Comment down below. Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know what car is more comfortable than a Lincoln town car. Let's get into this. So, as I mentioned, it's a 2005 Lincoln Signature. The one thing I would have loved to opt for, I wish, you know, I would have had a sunroof. And it's crazy too, because the color didn't sell me. On the title, it's green. And I don't know, it looks like a like a turquoise, like a bluish only, like an aqua blue. Um, I got some 22s in the back for it. We're not gonna, we're gonna leave this car alone. This is exactly how I wanted this car. Uh, what's wrong with it? We'll get into that in another video. Not much wrong with it. Uh, AC blows ice cold. I put the heat on because they were definitely chain smoking in here. I love these hell light, these headlights. I love these headlights. Love the grill. I love how they got the Lincoln badge embroidered with the grill, and then we got our ornament. Love them ornaments. I've been lucky with the ornaments lately. You know, we got, I think these are 18 inch wheels wrapped in Michelin's. The tires were new. This is, I'm the third owner of this car, by the way. It came with a lot of paperwork, them doing the services at the dealer, etc. cetera. Uh, then the second guy, he got it and he only had it for, for about three months. He got rid of it because he wanted something bigger for his business. You know what? I kind of like those excuses as to why you're selling your car you could be saying anything though so that could be bs but cool guy shout out to mike mike was a cool dude mike is a cool dude um the interior it needs some saving i started uh this storage right here it opens every time you open the door um again they were smoking black and miles in here so the car stinks a little bit still we we're getting there we're definitely getting there again we got some the the paint is very few few little things again for 2005 the car is is in fair shape fair shape i can't expect much um the way fuel is where it's kind of up and down uh, i feel better knowing that this car is not a gas guzzler oh let's show y'all the trunk real quick i'm sure you guys probably seen this video or, or video of this car but i'll uh, just quick little review sorry i don't want y'all seeing my license plate look at that trunk big trunk we got a spare tire right here uh 
we, that button where you see off, that's to turn off your airbags just in case you need to change a flat or you got to jack up the car, etc. That's your jack. I got to find a place where that goes. Um, soft touch trunk Lincoln or Lincoln. <laughs> I got to take those letters off. Then right here on the side, it says town car. This is a beautiful car, by the way. I think this is definitely one of Lincoln's most beautiful cars. I said I was going to show my license plate. There you go. Anyway, this is the back of the car. We got some rear sensors. Um, I washed it. I got to do a deeper clean. I just wanted to, to show you guys my latest purchase. Love the big doors. You know, no matter how big you are. Get in. <laughs> We got some storage here. Car is dope. Definitely clean enough. You know, we got the armrest, a lot of headroom. Definitely a lot of headroom. I'm six feet and I feel like I'm small back there. My wife, she fell in love. Like she didn't think much of it when she saw it. But uh, I told her, I said, sit in the back. And she sat in the back and she was like, wow, I feel like the president. So you get in and take a look. I can see the dash is clean. Again, the seats somewhere. I would say with a nice detailing, just to just cleaning them to make them give them that shine. That'd be kind of dope. We got our black ice. I needed that black ice again. I didn't really go too detailed in the cleaning, but we'll get there little by little. We got the cup holders. This is three seats, by the way. That's your seatbelt for the third person. You know, the cup holders hide away. We got to clean that too. We got an ashtray. Doug the mural didn't show y'all this. Look at the cutouts for the cigarettes. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Or oh, the joints. <laughs> I don't smoke weed though. But the car's in decent shape. Love the way it drives. And I knew what I was getting into, but then I started watching videos of how reliable this car is and it just makes made me feel a lot better about buying it look the lincoln badging on the seals still have the wrap on them he never took them off but it's definitely a nice car let's show y'all the hood or what's under the hood 4.6 liter v8 pop the hood i know call it a hoopty but this is definitely a hoopty. I don't mind owning. Look at that engine bay. Look at the lining. It's decent, decent. As far as the Buick goes, it's in the shop right now. We fixing the little things that's wrong with it. Not much, but we just want that running tip top too. Uh, this car is for sale, but this is my daily. So I'm really not trying to get rid of this for the right price. I will. The Buick. I get rid of that. I'll take this before the Buick. I love, I love this car. This is one of my top ten cars of all time. This is definitely one of the cars I've always wanted too. So I definitely want to keep this. Um, and I think it looks good with the uh, with the with the Cadillac. The next video I do, I make sure I had a Cadillac on the side. But yeah, look how long the hood is, and it's a V8. That's the one thing I didn't like about the Buick. It's a V6. But, yeah, tell me what y'all think. Did I buy a good car? Is this worth having? I'm sorry, guys. I really don't want to finance nothing. So, you know, if I, can, if I could buy it straight cash, not have any payments. Right now, the way things are with the, in the trucking industry as well, you know, we don't know what's going on. So I kind of want to be low key and, you know, I don't mind buying some stuff. Uh, who knows? You know, if we run into a T6 engine, we might swap it. I would love to do that. I would love to see this with, with more speed. But the way it drives, I'm good. I don't know. I, you know, I could fall back on speed for now if this car is doing what it's supposed to do. Taking me from point A to B. Comfortable as hell. <laughs> Let's take it for a spin real quick. All right, so driving the Lincoln Town Car 2005. It's a blast from the past. And 
again. The AC works. I believe there's a leak in one of the airbags because after like three, four days, the car's like slammed to the floor. So I think there's a leak going on. That's what my mechanic told me. He said, we got to check it out. Uh, Mike, the guy who sold it to me, he told me though, he said, uh, he said, I changed the airbags, but I think you got to change the, the, the shocks. That don't make no sense because the airbags are the shocks. So he said, that's why it sags. I don't know. I didn't buy into it. Again, I, I kind of know what's up with these cars already and they're fairly cheap to fix. You know, it's an older car, so parts are not hard to find. You know, they're dime a dozen. It's ride smooth, by the way. I've been smiling the whole time. I've been dying to get home because uh, I just want to drive this thing. I know what it is. It's smooth. You, you don't even feel a shift. You don't feel when you put the car in reverse until you move. Uh, I have my wash the car i had my my nephew jump in here with me and he was like you don't even feel it move <laughs> the ornament in the front put that anywhere that's where you're going you know it's a v ocho so it definitely got some pull i think the zero to 60 is like eight seconds but this car is not meant to be fast but it definitely was meant to have power because you could load this thing up with a bunch of suitcases, a bunch of people. It's six passengers. That's crazy. Only car you know, well, you know, one of uh, before, like when this came out, it was the only car in this time that I could remember that had, that was a six passenger car. You know, three in the front, three in the back. But we all know you could fit about five people back there. And possibly four in front. <laughs> you know, you just want to take care of the kids you don't want to do them like that but uh safety first you know <laughs> car is smooth you know people look again you know it's definitely not, not something you see all day every day they out there i noticed too ever since uber came out you know it's not about the passenger no more it's more of a, of a demand it's like supply and demand it's not it's not about what you're supplying you know it's not like back in the days where you uh call a taxi cab and it'll either be a crown vic a grand marquis or or this the town car you know or, or suv you know but but it was like the big american cars at least in new york from what i remember you know, the Camis came in when they changed that body, you know, the 07, 08. That's when the Camis came in, but Lincoln was always, right, the, the go-to. You see it still, you know, in, in the Met Galas, you see these pull up, all black. That's why I'm, I'm glad I ain't get it all black. I don't want y'all thinking, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, trucking didn't work out when we turned into a damn limo drop. Nah. You know, Next time I get a car you think is an Uber, that's personal. But, uh, you know, it won't be the last time you see this car on the channel. Definitely want to uh, keep it on here. Want to keep doing content with it. You know, let's see how far it goes. Uh, for the right price, I'll get rid of it. But I don't see no, I, I, you know, I want to keep it. Like, I'm hoping the Buick gets sold first because I don't want to, you know, I don't mind being stuck with the Buick, but again, I'm the Ocho all the way. I need this in my life. Smooth, smooth. The turning radius is, is bad, but you know, it's a long car. This car is as long as my Escalade. I promise you that. Um, love the trunk space. Like, you could use this as a work truck, you know, work car. You, know, you got a lot of room in the back. Um, you know, a lot of space for everything else. This car is dope. Just seeing somebody looking hard. You know, I don't look suspect. I don't want to tint the windows. I kind of want to tint the windows, but they, they put a tint on here. So I will have to take that off first because I'm not going to have the tint guy charging for that. Something I could do myself. Um, I would love to put some tints on it. I would love to put try those rims that I got on it, but 
we're not about to do that. This is one of the cars I don't want to be seen. I want to be low key, low profile, incognito. You know, love, love the way it feel. I'm, I'm happy. I could tell. You know, this ain't even me trying to do it for the channel. I promise y'all, I love this car. I've always wanted one of these. You know, if I see another one for low mileage or good price, I snag that up too. You know, again, this car right here could outlast you. You know, if you was to buy this car brand, it would probably outlast you if you're just going to work and back and, you know, doing, you know, the usual, using that, uh, using it as a A to Z car. But I was looking at, at some, doing some more research. There's some out there that got 400, 500 thou on, on, on the mileage. That's, that's crazy, you know, super crazy. Comment down below and, and name some cars that get, that high i'll wait no ain't that many doing that right now definitely not right now you know a lot of problems you know i ain't gonna say this car doesn't give issues because i remember back in the days when we used to use it uh for taxi livery cab they used to be phenomenal with the cooling lines busting but then again remember a lot of these cars were used 24 7 literally like it was shifts some guy have one 12 hour shift and another dude to have another the, the other 12 so it was literally running around 24 7 so if you're going to use this for your personal i highly doubt you're going to be beating it like that i'm not you know this is a to b running my errands we probably do a thousand miles i don't know every six months probably if that you know we might not have the car long enough we're going we're going we're to try to switch it up um and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video we're going to try to keep switching them up to see which one the channel gravitate towards more you know i like the way the buick did for the first couple of days i wasn't i wasn't expecting that let's see how this do again a lot of times i don't really care what the channel thinks about the car i just i really like this car i've always wanted one you know and let's see again what it does we'll try to soup it up you know i definitely i want some pipes definitely want some some exhaust pipes up back there i would love it if if i knew that this car would have like a nice tune to it i would straight pipe the car but we're not going to do that we're going to leave it alone um stay tuned more content coming soon car language <laughs>